welcome to the pajama party. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a first look at Camera Obscura, which is kind of an interesting little game I found by accident on Steam. The gist of it, from what I can tell, is your photographer, and it looks like you take pictures, and then you can like move the foreground. Uh, it seems really interesting, it's sort of a platformy adventure type thing. I'm going to take a look and see what it's like, see if we enjoy it at all. I like the style so far. Yeah, that's sort of pixely type. The mountains in the back look like a Bob Ross painting. I like the music too, it's very relaxing. That would be my success sound, I guess. My music of successing. I won't hear that a lot. Is that its butt? <laughs> it looks like it looks like it has a butt that's coming up every time it moves. Damn boy. Oh, they made all the backgrounds in these so beautiful. Oh, what is that? I want it. Wait, how do I get that? Oh, I can't get back up. <laughs> when do I get my camera's powers stuff? I want to know how to camera things. Ah, there we go. So. Oh, cool. I want to see that. Okay, that actually is a failure on my side, so. Cool, that makes it way easier. There we go. Follow you until your camera is recharged, then you can replace it by creating another after image. Okay, so that sound. There, that's when it stops. Cool. Actually, I like having a, I like having an auditory clue for that. That makes it way easier. Yeah, you have to really pay attention to your surroundings in this. I love the music. It makes me think of like a lot of older games. I like the flexibility of this because like... Press A and D to look around. Okay, so I can get like a preview of what's happening. I like the uh, flexibility of this, like there's different ways to, to find the answers for it. So it's sort of puzzly and sort of platformy and all in all just like super fun. I died. Whoops! Okay, I did miss some. Her camera had been her constant companion, even when she was a little girl. Through this simple device, she could save those memories she liked and crop out the unpleasant bits. <laughs> it just, I'm sorry, it just kind of makes me think of, like, pictures of you with, like, your ex-significant other and you just, like, cut them out of it because you look fine in that picture and you want to keep it. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this. It's not, like, a super complicated game, but it's definitely entertaining. Whoop, I didn't jump. It's like such happy little success music. It's like the uh, the Pokemon success music. Do do do. I want to get ah. So if I want to get rid of them, <laughs> the controls aren't actually that bad. I'm just bad at them. <laughs> okay. Were it not for the lethally toxic ooze they'd secreted, they'd almost be kind of oh. <laughs> Were it not for the lethally toxic ooze they secreted, they'd almost be kind of cute. <laughs> yes, they secreted the ooze. They hid it away. <laughs> the 
the little bum monsters. They're just, they're bum monsters now. That's how this is. I think I just have to avoid them. Whoop. Aww. One thing I will say about this game, like, I'm really loving it so far. I do find that it is kind of disjointed. Like, the notes are making it seem like this kind of really dark, heartfelt thing. And then the game's style looks just more like a, a fun adventure sort of type thing. And then we've got the butt monsters. <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe they didn't intend it to look like a butt, but it really just looks like the slime is twerking on screen in front of me. And that just makes me think like, it just makes me feel like it's a joke. And so I kind of don't feel like all of the, these pieces fit together super well. But I am really enjoying myself. Like, I'm having a lot of fun. How did I touch that? Oops. I pressed... <sighs> I can't get back if I do that. Uh, ah! <laughs> Not being able to jump is really frustrating. Hmm? I jumped! I jumped! Controls are actually like kind of frustrating. But like how oh, I'm like way overthinking it. Ugh, I still can't do it. No, see it worked and then it didn't work. Yeah, see? No, so I can't jump. There, oh, no, come! Oh, part thing is just... Goodness. Did you do that? But hello, butt monster. Oh. I wonder if there's other monsters and if they also have fantastic bums. One of two things. It's either that he is buried at the top and she's going up there to like visit his grave or something like something like that. Or maybe she's burying him. Like maybe she has his ashes and she is burying them herself. Hello, butt monster. How did I? Oh, I, I, the hitboxes on these guys are. A l I think they're a little. I, I, uh, I don't quite agree with that, but that's fine. No. <laughs> what? Okay, well at least it didn't bring me back further. First little bit was a lot of fun, but this is this is. The hitboxes on these guys are huge. <laughs> I think it's a really interesting mechanic. I can think you can do a lot of really interesting things with it. The timing on it is really difficult. And then, like with how swooshy these jumps are, to have the jumps be as tight as they are is making it really difficult. I do super, super love the art style. I think the music is awesome. I'm really intrigued by the story. Even though I think all of the parts, just the fit of them together is kind of strange. Um, it is something that I would play again, but I, I, I would, I'm gonna have to play it in doses because it is getting... It gets to be a lot. Yeah, you get, you get kind of frustrated. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Um, I am determined to get to this, uh, this door. <laughs> And then I'm gonna call it. Uh, but I'm gonna finish this level. I don't know how long it's. <sighs> well, the problem is, while you're doing all of this, you have to avoid Nicki Minaj over here. I think I'm probably gonna play this game again because it interests me, because it fascinates me. It's definitely not something I would like sit down and complete. It's not something I, I'd want 100% or anything. I want to finish this level. <laughs> I might play it a little bit more casually, but it's not something I'd be like, ah, oh, you know what I'd 
love to play through is this. But it is a really interesting idea. I really like the the mechanic that they've added. Um, I'm interested by the story. The art, the design is beautiful. I think the all the detail that they put into that whole background is really amazing. The music is great. A little confused about what kind of atmosphere they're trying to go for. We did it! Yay! Sorry. Sorry, lamp. Alright! So we've done it. We've finished that level. We've successed. Yay! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please feel free to subscribe. If you ever want to catch me live, check out my Twitch channel. All of my social media links are in the description down below. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.